FX audio, everything, all black, everything. I freaking love FX audio stuff. Um, that was the Doom 2016 soundtrack coming through the FX audio tube P1, which is being driven, well, not driven, but set a signal from the DAC X6. And uh, I've got the Monoprice Modern Retros with Brainwave's sheepskin pads today. And uh, yeah, I just want to talk to you about these FX Audio products and why I like them. Uh, I'm not going to say that they're the best in the class or anything like that, or that everyone needs to own them, but um, I would say probably most of you need to take a look at these and, and uh, understand why they're freaking awesome. Um, so we'll do both and uh, we'll do the X6 first. So this little guy is the DAC X6 and let me just slide, let me turn this guy off first. Slide that out of the way a little bit and plug these headphones. We'll take a look at the X6. Turn this guy off too. Give him a good unplug from everything. So here we have the front of the X6. Uh, you have your power switch on the front, optical USB coaxial input select, headphone jack, and nice stepped volume knob. Uh, I doubt you're gonna be able to hear it, but I'll try anyway. Um, feels really nice to use. And on the back, we have all the inputs, power, it comes with a regular power brick, it's not a wall wart, which is nice. RCA out for your line out, it's, again that's a line signal, meaning that you can send it to an amp, external amp, like the P1. Coaxial in, optical in, USB in, it's not USB powered like the G2. Um, it's not exactly as portable as the G2, it is pretty small, but um, you know, keep in mind it has that external power brick, but that does mean it will deliver more power. Aluminum case, but it's very, very prone to fingerprints, as you can see. Uh, nice finish, though. It's well constructed. Uh, it's kind of an industrial look with these silver screws on the front holding the faceplate on. Move this guy a little bit more. So, again... Uh, X6, uh, it's just a really good DAC, and it's a decent headphone amplifier as well. Um, on Amazon, it's running about $65. Mashdrop, it's 50 bucks shipped, but again, you have to wait from Mashdrop, so if you're not willing to wait, the extra 15 bucks might be worth it just to pick it up on Amazon. Um, I'll have both linked in the description below. It's also available in silver, which I don't think will pick up fingerprints as much, but I think it looks super mean in black, um, and I like that a lot. The cool thing about this is that when you plug in headphones into the front, the line out on the back does not get disabled. Uh, some, some amps, some headphone DAC amps do that. Some have a switch where you have to switch back and forth between the front and the back. This one, you do not. So. If, for whatever reason, I want to use my speakers at the same time as my headphones, I can do that. I can plug in headphones here, I can plug in the speakers to the P1, and listen out to the speakers on the P1. Or I can plug in headphones to the P1, and listen to two different headphones, compare them side to side, or have a friend listen at the same time. The output on the front of this for the headphones is enough to what I would say sufficiently drive the 6XX, which are 300 ohm. I, they don't, they definitely do not reach their, their potential on this amp. Um, the amp stage of this is what I would call above average or above adequate. It's good. It definitely does not sound the best, but for 50 or $65, it sounds pretty, pretty damn good. It's going to sound better than your integrated audio. It's going to sound better than any laptop audio. Uh, it sounds better than my MacBook 
and I know that the MacBooks actually have a decent DAC and decent headphones, you know, uh, amplifier stage in them for headphones. And comparing the 5.8x, which are a little bit easier to drive on the FX Audio versus just plugged in to the MacBook, I get about the same. I get plenty of volume with the MacBook, but they definitely sound better on the X6. So this is going to be a good upgrade for most people, especially if you're running a server board or something like that. You don't have audio. There's no way to get audio out. Um, we have USB, so you can just plug the USB in, use the USB signal, and then you have audio out for headphones. Um, it's in a little bit different of a class than the G2, which I have here. Let me grab it. Here's the G2. You can see size-wise, the G2 is much more portable. And again, it's only it's USB powered. So that helps a lot too. You don't need a, a brick. Um, USB, let's see. What was I gonna say? Not USB. Uh, they both have optical. Oops. They both have optical. Um, the Origin actually has optical out through this 3.5 in the back. It has mini toast link, which is kind of interesting. It doesn't have line out, so it has a, a pre out for speakers. So this, if you plug in speakers to the back of this, you can control the volume with the volume knob here. Doesn't have a dedicated on off switch. Um, so you have to actually turn it on by clicking, clicking this knob off of zero. And you have your two different size headphones on the front, 3.5 or quarter inch. And then you have to switch between front headphone out and rear pre out via this switch. And then you have two gain settings, but this definitely does not put out as much power as this guy, although I think it sounds a little bit better. The thing is, the G2 is about double the price of the X6. And for me, I'm using the X6 as mostly a DAC. Uh, in my FX Audio stack, I'm going out RCA from this into the RCA into this. And for most of the time, I have the volume all the way down, I have the power turned on, and then it's just putting out line right to this guy. So if you want to upgrade to an external amplifier, the DAC on this is pretty good. I would say the DAC is better than the built-in headphone amp, but once you're using the line out, you're not using the headphone amp at all. So the DAC is more than adequate to, um, to, to send signal to any external amplifier. Um, I've used it with the THX789 and it sounds good. I can definitely tell the difference between my Emotiva DAC and this one, but for the price difference between the Emotiva and, and the X6, uh, it's not that much of an improvement. So long story short, if you need an all-in-one device and you're looking down, you're like looking to upgrade down the road to an external amp, something fancy like the P1 or the Lox GP20, which is under my mat back there, the 789 or really any amp that doesn't have a DAC built in, the X6 is a good stepping stone for that. Um, so consider this guy, and again, it has multiple input options. You have coaxial, you have optical, USB, and switching between them is, you know, you can have all three of them plugged in and just switch back and forth. So that's pretty cool. Um, Let's see what else. I think that kind of wraps it up for the X6. Uh, long story short, buy it. It's <laughs> I like it a lot. Moving on to the real reason I'm making this video. Move the G2 out of the way. The FX Audio 2P1. And plug this X6 back in so we can hear some more of the uh, 2P1. Tube P1, my favorite purchase of 2018. 
and I'll read you my mass drop review of it, and I, I'll, I will link this. Oh, I'll read you a section of my review of it. The Tube P1 was the most surprising piece that I bought in all of 2018. Not only is it a phenomenal speaker amp, but it delivers quality tube sound to both budget and high-end headphones, even the notoriously hard-to-drive HD6XX, which are 300 ohm. It provides plenty of power for the 6XX, but I think the 58X, which are 150 ohm, they sound a little bit better on it. M1060C, which are the monoprice planars, Resolve detail that's almost to a fault. And I'm gonna expand on that a little bit in a, in a, in a second. Um, what else? Uh, the COS, KPH30i, the, the Port Pro, the KSC75, they all sound absolutely incredible on this. Pairing COS with tube, like a tube amp, it's so warm and detailed and a very relaxed sound. It sounds really, really great. Um, let's see, what else did I say about it? Oh, currently this sits on top of my THX 7889 using the pass-through from the 789. So I have, going from the DAC to the 789, unbalanced, and I'll, I'll have a balanced DAC coming later, but unbalanced going to the 789, which is back there, this sits on top of that, being passed through to the 789 and uh, this powers my speakers. I have ELAC B6s and they the tubes just power them and drive them in a way that's not really possible with a solid state. Um, I have a $600 PS Audio Sprout and these ELACs do not sound as good on the Sprout as they do on this FX Audio Tube P1. This is a $120 tube amp for speakers and headphones. It's equally as good at driving speakers as it is headphones. Let me unplug this guy and show you the back and why I think this... Got a few things plugged in here. So on the front, just the headphone jack. You have a couple status lights, your power, and your two sources. Again, you have that FX Audio stepped volume knob. This thing is heavy. And on the back, you have phono input. So if you have a record player and you have RCA on the back of that, it's not a, it's not a line level source on the back of the record player. It's a phono source. Uh, you would plug that into here. Here, here you plug in your line level source from like the X6. And this little matrix here, it looks kind of odd at first glance, but this is where you plug in your speakers. Uh, it'll take banana plugs and you have four ohm and eight ohm outputs. So here's your common ground for the right, or excuse me, for the left speaker. So this one will always be plugged in. And then if you have an eight ohm speaker, it goes into here. If you have a 4 ohm speaker, the red goes into here. Same on this side. Here's your common ground, and then your 4 ohm and your 8 ohm. The cool thing about this is when you're using your speakers, you just turn it on, hold the power button for two seconds, it turns on, it warms up, and you'll see the tubes glow, and um, you'll hear like a little click, and that means that it's ready to go. Turn your volume up a little bit, and your speakers are being driven. If you want to switch over to headphones, all you do is you plug in your headphone jack in, and the speakers cut off, and your headphones are being driven. This is a full tube amplifier. It has driver tubes, and it has power tubes. It's not a hybrid like the P20. It's not a tube buffer. It's a full tube. Uh, it is probably the best full tube amp that you can get under about $200, not counting the fact that it can drive speakers. I don't know of any 
full tube speaker amp and headphone amp combo that sounds anywhere this good under about $400. So keep that into consideration when, when you're looking at the P1. Um, you're not gonna find another amp that can, that can do the same sort of features as this can. It will surely sound better than most solid states at about anywhere under 300 bucks. Uh, you, you have the tube sound. Um, there is a downside, you don't have a linear power supply, it's a switching power supply. But again, it's only 120 bucks. I bought this when it was 130 on Mastrop. It's 170 or 179 on Amazon. But 120 bucks, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's, it's $10 more than the Origin G2. Uh, I, I, I freaking love this thing. Even though I have the 789, which is probably the best headphone amp under $1,000, this is still gonna sit on top of it. It's still gonna stay on my desk. I love the way it looks. The only thing I don't like about the way it looks is, again, you have that same aluminum finish as the X6, but I don't like these little screws here. These little silver screws. I think it makes it look a little cheap. They don't match the silver screws on the front. And I guess the only other downside about looks is it says NFJ and FX Audio, so I guess it's maybe a collaboration. Um, but I wish it just said FX Audio like this one. Although at least it's the same font and everything like that. But um, I don't really know what to say about this other than if you're even remotely consider considering it, you should buy it. And uh, I know I give a lot of product endorsements and... Um, I've been doing a lot of audio vi videos lately, but if I had to pick out of all the stuff I've had and all of the big influences that, you know, my audiophile journey has seen in the past year, uh, this is, this has been it. Um, there's not really a whole lot I can say other than... I, I don't want to change anything on my desk. If anything, maybe I'll get nicer speakers. These Elacs were uh, graciously given to me by PS Audio I, uh, with the PS Audio Sprout. I don't think they were a good pairing, but putting these Elacs on this, man, it really wakes them up. It, they've got this extremely full sound, uh, really detailed imaging, extraordinarily crisp highs, and I mean, just monstrous bass too. Um, so yeah, that's it's it's a fun. So if you get these two, you're still under two hundred dollars, which is just insane to me. You have a full desk audio setup for two hundred bucks or less than two hundred bucks. So say you buy this on Mastrop and you buy this on Mastrop, it's one hundred and seventy bucks. And you buy these twenty dollar headphones, and you're still under two hundred dollars. So you've got. DAC plus solid state headphone amp, which will sound totally different than the full tube headphone amp on this. You have a full tube headphone amp and a full tube speaker amp. So you've, you can plug in passive speakers and you've got a complete desk setup. Um, I don't know of anything, not even a shit stack, not SMSL, anything that can beat this combo for under 200 bucks. Um, if you'd like to read my full Mastrop master review of the P1, I will link that in the description below along with my Mastrop link to these. I think there's only two days left on this guy. Um, I don't remember when the last strap was. It might have been like about two months ago on this, and it took me a little while to get it. I think the current drop is set to ship in February, early February, like the second or something like that. Um, this guy's only available in black. This one's available in black and silver. Oh, the other thing I didn't say, I have more of these coming. I have two more X6s coming. And the reason I have two more coming is because I think the DAC is so good in these, I'm gonna run a stack of X6s. I'm gonna run three of them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run an optical splitter from my Emotiva into these three X6s. So I can run each of them individually. And what I'll do is 
uh, use the DAC in these to go line out to all of the various headphone amps that I have or will have and what I'll do is I'll compare them and I can take headphones and plug them all into the X6s if I want so I can have three headphones plugged into three identical amps compare headphones I can take one uh, one set of headphones and go between all the different amps using the same DAC and compare the different amps and I can also have since again this this headphone out doesn't shut off um, it doesn't shut off when you plug in the line source in the back I can have up to six headphone outs so when I go to the LAN party I'm gonna take all these we're gonna have a mini little can jam headphone meetup session and what I'll do is I'll have six headphones plugged in or maybe I'll have eight and people can pick up any of the headphones and listen to what's going on uh, on the stream or on what you know whatever music I have playing and they can ch test out all the different headphones they can test the different amps and stuff like that uh, but again these were only 50 bucks on master app so I have two more coming it's a hundred bucks and you know it's a DAC and an amp and uh, yeah so check out the FX audio stuff I've been a big fan so far I know they do make some products that I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying, like they make a tube buffer, like a preamp buffer. I, it's like a hundred bucks, I wouldn't recommend that. You'd, you'd, you'd get so much more from just having a real tube amp. So I don't know why they, they make that. They make an X3, which is, it's got the line on the front and it's only got like a three and a half millimeter, I think. I wouldn't recommend that. It's the X6 is cheap enough and you can get that. They make the X7, which is like the their pro DAC. It's got an AKM DAC chip in it, which would sound even better than what's in here. Um, but I think that's like 170 bucks or something like that. So check out their stuff. I'm gonna have all this linked from Mastrop and Amazon. Um, if you have questions about this, and maybe I didn't do a good, good enough job as to explaining why you need to have one of these. <laughs> Check this out. Uh, read, the re read my review of that. Ask any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. But I hope some of you pick this up and enjoy it. Uh, because really, if you don't, you're missing out. Um, thanks for sticking with me through this long video. And I will catch you guys next time.